social media, a possible starting point, at least for me, could be the notion of the disappearance of the social, as described by Jean Baudrillard in 1985, the French sociologist who theorized the changing role of the subject as consumer. According to Baudrillard, at some point the social lost its historical role and imploded into the media. This obliteration of the social has not led to a disappearance of sociology as a discipline, but has downgraded the importance of social theory within critical debates, read by most as a sign of the diminished size and importance of the welfare state. Uh, or, uh, other, uh, let's say, state, uh, um, state services that has diminished uh, in the age of uh, neoliberalism. Instrumental knowledge to manage the social is seen as necessary, but has also reduced its intellectual range to a closed circle of professional experts. So we could say that the social is now not something in general, but has kind of shrunken and has become a task of a, of a shrinking group of professional experts. Will the rise of social media, yeah, the, the topic of uh, uh, this conference, induce a renaissance of sociology? This is what I've been asking myself for, for a while now. Taking over from cultural studies and media studies would be good, in my view, but will, will it happen? Uh, sociologists shouldn't limit themselves to pragmatic impact studies, in my view, uh, because uh, what's in so short supply are general designs of society. A web sociology, as it uh, is named here, and there's someone here in Amsterdam working on this, his name is Albert Benschop. Maybe you, uh, you have once or, uh, visited his site, called Social Site. Uh, so he has been working on this, and uh, there are a few others. The web sociology that has freed itself of the real and virtual dichotomies, not limiting its research scope to the social implications of technology, because it, the social implications of technology is uh, what uh, sociology has done so far, for instance, if sociologists think of internet, they will immediately start talking, for instance, about internet addiction. Uh, this, is, uh, this is kind of uh, their professional impulse. Uh, um, and as uh, Eva Elus wrote to me in a correspondence we had about this issue, she writes, if sociology has traditionally called on us to exert our shrewdness and vigilance in the art of making distinctions, uh, for instance, between use value, exchange value, life world, and the colonization of the life world, etc. The challenge that awaits us is to exercise the same vigilance in a social world which consistently defeats these distinctions. Uh, so it, it's also the uh, Aufhebung uh, of all these distinctions, which is something that uh, we could say we are struggling with here. Uh, the, mo the most the important one, of course, being the one between the public and the private. The social no longer manifests itself primarily in, as a class movement or mob, even though we would sometimes love to see that. Huh? We, have, we have a certain maybe desire for that. But uh, the form in which the social expresses itself to us uh, is, is the network as a real existing organizational mass practice. This is, in our age, its dominant shape. What counts are the social facts as they represent themselves through network analysis and its corresponding data visualizations. The container concept social media, yeah, describing a fuzzy collection of websites from Facebook, Dig, YouTube, uh, or you know, uh, Twitter, Wikipedia or regional uh, variations such as Hive types in this country is not a nostalgic project aimed to revive the once dangerous potential of the social as a mob. Instead, to remain inside Baudrillard's vocabulary, the social is reanimated as a simulacrum of its own a 
ability to create meaningful and lasting social relations. It seems a brave but ultimately unproductive uh, project to go online and look for the remains of 19th century European social theory. This is what uh, makes the debate about Marx and exploitation, uh, as it is going on right now on the net time list, for instance, so tricky. What we need to do instead is to take the social as face value and remain from the well-meaning political intentions uh, that we have ourselves. Uh, so to, to look at Facebook, for instance, beyond good and evil is quite a, quite a big, uh, uh, big undertaking. It's, it's quite difficult because on the one hand we, have, we, we feel a certain disgust or desire or we don't see the things. Uh, it, it kind of presents itself as a, as a new collective unconsciousness. We don't even, cannot even uh, you know, describe the user interface of Facebook to a, to a, to a stranger because we have forgotten it. Huh? Even though we just spent three hours on it, we cannot. Huh? Yeah, huh? so it has completely entered. Uh, uh, and this, uh, this kind of uh, uh, also, of course, the theorists I know and critics, uh, they are not different uh, in that respect. Uh, so there is a there, there is a concerted effort he, uh, to be made here to kind of step back and to see what's actually going on there. Which, which I, I think is uh, hard, hard enough. And uh, with that, I, I don't mean uh, that we have to have an objective or neutral uh, point of view on this. No, it, it, it more, I, I more think of uh, uh, a very strange, uh, uh, distracted uh, viewpoint, let's say a an more anthropological maybe uh, viewpoint that uh, you know, could help us to actually uh, study what, is, what the hell is going on there. On the <coughs> on this uh, uh, you know website, the social is not merely the digital awareness of the other you want to share something with, even though the importance of direct contact should not be underestimated. There needs to be actual interaction. This is the main difference between the old broadcast media and the current social network paradigm. And this, this is a, this is an important aspect. Um, uh, the, the, the we need to further theorize still the difference between uh, the, the active uh, user uh, who constitutes you know, a new kind of subjectivity out there uh, in comparison, still in comparison to um, uh, the uh, broadcast media um, as, uh, as we know it. And even though we could say, well, maybe we have overcome the distinction between all the new media, it would be very nice. I think, yes, it would be great. But the reality, um, I think, is, is quite, uh, quite different. And for us, the theorization, uh, I think, should um, uh, you know, also start there. And um, yeah, interpassivity is playing an important role there in comparison to interactivity. Uh, how do the two uh, exactly relate to each other? I'm not going to go into that debate now, but um, that is one of the more uh, you know interesting uh, starting points there. And uh, in this essay, I'm uh, I'm going further into that uh, uh, that debate. With this emphasis on big data, uh, huge amounts of data, all these sites generating, we can read. Uh, the renaissance of the social uh, in the light of sociology uh, as the positivist science of society. As of yet, uh, there is no critical school inside. Uh, well, you could say, okay, unlike us, it's, it's trying very hard uh, to, uh, you know, to bring together uh, people in that direction. Um, and uh, yes, um, but on, on the large, on, on the whole, uh, we can still see that society at large is still kind of overwhelmed and in hype, hype mode uh, when it comes to uh, these uh, social media. Um, the term social has effectively been neutralized. Reborn as a cool concept in the media debate, the social manifests 
itself neither as dissident nor as subcultural. And the social organizes the self as a, a technocultural entity, a special effect of software, which real-time feedback features uh, proof addictive for many users. In the internet context, the social is neither a reference to the social question, obviously, uh, nor a hidden reminder of some uh, socialist or socialism as a, a political uh, program. As the social is precisely what it pretends to be, a calculated opportunity in times of distributed uh, communication. And it would uh, be interesting, of course, to see uh, for someone, hopefully from the west coast of the United States, to, to kind of write a history of the social uh, in relation to uh, Silicon Valley. Because the term has a long history. Uh, it goes back already to the 1950s and the, the, um, the birth of the social in the whole debate about arch uh, the architecture of networks uh, and software. Uh, you know, it goes, goes back a long time. But so far, I have not really found very good uh, good texts that uh, deal with this. Obviously, there's uh, you know virtual re uh, virtual communities and stuff like that. Huh? Uh, uh, but uh, to uh, to uh, analyze uh, you know the use of the term and the, the way the term is, is, is shifted and uh, has been neutralized uh, time and again. Uh, would be a very, very interesting um, uh, approach. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll leave it uh, there, and um, uh, you, can, uh, you can read, as I said, the text uh, online, and uh, now I'll, I'll briefly introduce uh, Jody Dean, uh, with uh, whom over the years I've ha already had a, a, a long uh, intellectual uh, uh, history of, uh, of exchanges, collaborations, um, Jody uh, is quite often here now in 